honestly, I cannot believe I'm saying this. We are two weeks away from the cyclocross season and I've entered the first race. I'm going to be racing the Wessex League. The Clanfield race is round one on the 4th of September. If anyone is interested in smashing themselves for an hour, get yourself entered. It'll probably be a mega course because they hold a UCI race there. But I was saying to the Rocket, do I feel ready for cyclocross? absolutely not but i don't think you ever do you just sort of jump head first in hope for the best and slowly start to deal with the pain but it's a new week so it is time to get after it and monday morning was a gym session i don't normally do a gym session the morning of like a threshold or tough session so this is going to be interesting tonight but i was doing some legs some upper body stuff and then this afternoon we are back on the threshold efforts. I don't know how my legs are going to feel after doing a gym session this morning, but I'm going to give it a good whack. Last week was three by 10, which adds up to 30 minutes of threshold work, quick maths. This week, rather than setting like a number on it, like three times 12, three times 15, I'm just going to try and accumulate more than 30 minutes in three sets. Ah, that's more like it. It's starting to feel like cross now. I've just got absolutely soaked. But I've got 15 minute good effort, 12 minute, 10 minute. The 12 minute, I almost had a big off. I was absolutely sideways around a corner. Do not know how I saved it because it was so wet. So after that, I started pausing it before I was coming into the corner so, and then starting the effort again because it wasn't worth risking crashing but the wheels well and truly came off in that third effort i think i only averaged like 315 11 watts under threshold i was just struggling but it's still three solid efforts after a gym session so i'm pleased with that just going to spin the legs out now and head home hopefully the rocket ain't got a million jobs for me this week because i've been back at work just for a rest surprise surprise i'm back in the kitchen cooking You'd think, actually, did you see the comments on the last video, Rocket? There was a lot of comments saying that I am a catch. And I think I saw a few comments saying I don't want my missus to overhear this. No, predominantly the comments were the Rocket needs to pull her finger out and start doing more. Right, George, should we just have a real <laughs> conversation now, right? You got in about an hour ago and I was still working. And I said, oh, do you want to start the dinner? You were like, no, 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 let's wait and do it together. So she's not pulling her finger out. Well, I literally just came down and was about to start it because you've just been hovering around for the last half an hour since you got in. Decompressing <laughs> from my bike ride. Now all of a sudden you've jumped up. Yes, because otherwise I won't get fed till midnight because it takes the rocket about four days to do an arm workout. Right, well, I can tell you now, I'm making a mushroom risotto, pan to the mushrooms I'm cutting up and this is my worst nightmare following a bloody instruction manual. <laughs> what do you want to call it? A what is that called? Book. A recipe book. My brain just doesn't work like this. I'm a, I'm a visual learner. Visual? <laughs> visual. No. Oh, look. Picture. Yeah, but you can't, visual. you can't just make something off a picture. Can you? Can. you? That's how it should look. That's what I expect. Yes, but you don't... <laughs> Sarah, the rocket doesn't yeah. understand. She's not a visual learner. She's the sort of person... I'm not a visual learner. You're not. A few moments later. Honestly, quite possibly the most stressful hour of my life. What is a ladle full? What is a sprig? Just, I need exact figures. And never again. If I could give one bit of advice, if you are like me lazy do not help around the house do not try and start helping because they expect too much from you i don't expect too much at all <laughs> you do I said the bar's low the bar's bloody high a risotto look at my arm it's it's limp <laughs> i've got a limp arm from stirring that bloody risotto for the last it hour it tastes lovely though oh don't never again Never again. Another wet morning and an early start. And it is a double training day today. And my legs are in a bad way from that gym session yesterday. 
it's the Bulgarian split squats. I know how good they are for me and for cycling, but all I've got to do is look at a Bulgarian split squat and I'll get doms. It is awful. And in particular, my left quad today. I don't know why the left one's particularly worse, but God, my legs hurt. So I'm out early. I was gonna be doing the run this morning, but I thought I'm not gonna be able to put a good effort into it. So I'm better off doing my zone two bike session this morning and hopefully a little spin out of the legs will get them feeling a little bit better. And then this afternoon, I'll do my run session because I want to try and keep pushing the intensity in that. Out for session two of the day and it is a run session. And the plan was to hit this run with some intensity and get some heel sprints in again. But my legs are in a state. After those Bulgarian split squats yesterday, I have got the worst doms. They have progressively got worse all day. I can just feel like my hamstrings, my glutes, my quads. I'm not gonna do another Bulgarian split squat ever again. But I'm gonna see what they've got, try and hit this run with some intensity, get some hill sprints in. Oh, and hopefully they survive. God, that was tough. We've got some serious work to do on the running, especially up hills. That burnt the legs. My legs are from running and I am slightly concerned that my running is getting no better and I need like, I need emergency running training. The rocket's back late. I've been a slacker and haven't made dinner. <laughs> I have been on the sofa the last two hours. Two? Yes, two hours, right. I was decompressing big time and I just needed time just to... just highlight it's quarter to eight in the evening. <laughs> I needed time to relax. We've got no food. What are we having? Oats for dinner. I think I've peaked on my dinners. Yesterday's risotto. That was a peak, wasn't it? That was a good risotto. That's... I've peaked, so now the options are beans or oats. <laughs> so... Dinner is served. Another day battling off these doms, but they are a hundred times better than they were yesterday, which is good. But I am just gonna do an easy ride today. So zone one, zone two, couple of hours, just keeping the legs ticking over, a bit of endurance work, because the thought of pushing the pedals hard when the legs are sore is not the one for me. But the big goal tonight is, I fancy pizza. I'm going to take my cooking skills to the next level and I'm going to try and make a pizza from scratch. I don't have a bougie pizza oven, but I do have an oven. So I'm sure they'll come out exactly the same. Or probably not. If not, we're going to be getting a Papa John's. And I know what you're thinking, with an Italian name, you should be able to make pizza. But... I'm not too hopeful, but I'm gonna give it a crack. But first, let's get a couple of hours done on the bike. This has been a big evening. I cannot fail this task. La familia will disown me. <laughs> Mamma mia. Look at the pizzas I have created. This is the Rockets one here. I'd say I've done a pretty good job on that. No cheese on there for me. I have hummus on there instead. I'll tell you what, the Italian blood is deep in my veins today. <laughs> I've gone above and beyond. This is, I feel like a legend right now, a cooking legend. The YouTube cycling channel is getting sacked and we're starting a food channel. It was all going so well until it wasn't. <laughs> the rocket got back, everything got stuck to the pans and I don't know if I've cooked the dough long enough. There's the end product. We've got salad, the rocket's meal, cheese on the wine. What does it taste like? No, it does taste really good. I'm very it tastes surprised. Like, oh, there you are. It tastes good. Oh God, that last 10 minutes was stressful though. It needs some work. The one thing I'm trying to do though, is I'm trying to convince the rocket to start a food YouTube channel with me, but she's not on board one day. I'm going to convince her. What is this? Look at this weather. I put slick tires on my cyclocross bike. 
and then it hammers it down. I have just been out for a run in this weather and I've got drenched. Now, I am not cycling to work in this. So it is 6.42, the rock is up out of bed and she's chauffeuring me to work. What a top geezer. Look at that, not a chance. And I cycling outside in that. So it could be a night for Zwick. How does it feel? Giving back to the person that holds the household together. The rocket probably will not reply at 6.43. Look at her. No, I am, I am not speaking to you. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. It is hard to believe, but that was the rocket cooking dinner. What a bloody surprise. This, it's been a while, Rocket. Do you know how to use this apparatus such as the oven? Do you need me to give you a little run through? A little refresh? And if you're wondering how my cycling training went today, it went bloody rubbish. Because of the weather, I thought I won't go outside because it was raining. I thought I'd jump on Zwift, do a Zwift race. It went a little bit like this. I went hard, I went a little bit harder, I got dropped, I bridged back on, I then went even harder, I've done 402 watts for 60 seconds and I got dropped again. Threw my toys out the pram and then done zone two to the finish because I was bloody miserable. Cried to the wife for a bit, so she agreed to make dinner for me. That is it. And we are back out on the road today and I am never ever swifting again after yesterday. No, I'm joking. I'm over it. Just. It cut deep, get dropped so quick. But to be honest, training's been all over the place this week. And there is a reason for that. I'm just gonna get a sneaky hour in before work, just zone two. Hence why I've got the backpack on. I am the least aero person in the world. But why training's gone a bit of a miss this week is because I was planning on doing like the two threshold sessions a week. But I'm going to a cyclocross session tomorrow saturday which is probably going to be pretty intense i've ended up just sort of winging it a bit this week because i've done the threshold session at the beginning of the week and then i was sort of like i don't want to do another one and start burning myself out doing like three four tough sessions a week so i backed off i'm just like chipping away i've changed it up a bit mainly doing zone two so that i can go into tomorrow fresh and get a good session in but as much as i want to hit all the threshold sessions i had planned just putting more intensity into the week's just going to kill you off but i'm just going to get this hour in and potentially i might do a little spin after work depending on how i feel surprisingly another day with the rocket on dinner duties i cannot believe it myself i've been back demoted to doing absolutely jack all. So it's been bloody marvelous. Sad news though, cyclocross training has been canceled tomorrow. There are travelers on the course. So we're gonna have to find something else to do to absolutely bury myself tomorrow. The rocket is on the wine and we are back on burgers. It's been a while since I said that, burger and chip. But that is another week closer to the first cross race. I'm gonna enter a midweek one next week as well, just to get some intensity in. But I hope you've enjoyed this week of training and I'll catch you in the next one.